So, in this example, um, we have a cat who is sitting on a sled, and then there is another sled next to it, and two sleds are on the frictionless icy surface. The cat then jumps with a certain initial velocity on the second sled, and then jumps back from the second sled on the first one. The question is, what is the velocity of the second sled with respect to the ice? Now, we are given the mass of the cat, the mass of the sled, and the two sleds are identical, and we are given this velocity of the cat as it jumps from the first sled to the second sled with respect to the ice, when the cat jumps from the second one to the first one, we also know its velocity is the same as the original one, again with respect to the ice. So the question is, what is this velocity of the second sled? Um, now, just to make it clear, let's show arrows indicating uh, what is moving where. So here, the cat is just sitting on the sled, and the second sled is also stationary next to it. Now the first cat jumps in this direction, so it has this horizontal velocity pointing this way. Now, because of the conservation of momentum, this sled should be moving in this direction. Now let's see what happens here. Here, this sled is still moving in that direction, the cat and the sled are also moving in that direction because now the momentum that the cat had now is translated to the momentum to the total momentum of the cat and the sled here. The cat then jumps in this direction. This sled is still moving here. This sled is now moving here. And then finally when the cat lands the cat and the sled are moving here, and this sled is moving here. So the question that, that, that we need to answer is what is this velocity of the sled? The velocity of the sled with respect to the ice. We are given the velocity of the cat with respect to the ice. So let's call it BC. We are also said that when the cat jumps from the second sled, its velocity with respect to the ice is also Vc. In other words, it's the same with respect to the ice, the velocity of the cat in both jumps. So what, what can we conclude from here? Well, there are two conservation of momentum. Um, there are two two instances where, where we have to use the conservation of momentum. Well, first of all, let's look at this system, which consists of the cat and the second sled. Okay, so this is our initial state. The initial state of the system consisting of the cat and the second sled is like this. The cat is moving this way, the sled is stationary. And let's look at the final state. The final state, I should say, is this one. The cat and the sled are both moving in that direction. Now, obviously, they have to be moving to the right because the momentum has to be conserved. And now let's look at a, you know, a second final state. Or, you know, if we say now this is initial, then the, the other final state would be this one. The cat is now jumping here, the sled is still moving there. So, let's say that the mass of the cat is mc and the mass of the sled is ms. Let's also say that this direction, the right direction, is positive. Okay, so we're taking the direction to the right as positive and our problem is one-dimensional. So, let's look at this state. In this state, the momentum of the system is equal to mass of the cat times velocity of the cat. The sled has no momentum because it's stationary. 
Now let's look at this state. Here we have cat and the sled moving in this direction with some velocity. Let's call that velocity uh, v0 for now. Okay? So we can say that this momentum has to be equal to mass of the cat plus mass of the sled times v0. But now let's look at this state. Now again, this is the same system but just in a different state. So the momentum of this system is now equal to mass of the sled times velocity of the sled minus mass of the cat times velocity of the cat and minus is because the cat is now moving in the opposite direction so minus mass of the cat times velocity of the cat so we can actually ignore this step and just set this thing equal to this thing and so what do we get? we get 2 mass of the cat times velocity of the cat is equal to mass of the sled times velocity of the sled so the velocity of the sled is therefore equal to 2 times velocity of the cat mass of the cat over mass of the sled so now we can just use the numbers so 2 times mass of uh, velocity of the cat is given in the problem 3.79 meters per second mass of the cat 4.74 mass of the sled is 15 so now you have 2.40 meters per second and that is the velocity of the sled with respect to the ice after the second jump.